<clears throat> Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. Today I'm gonna show you what happens if you try and develop black and white film and your film developer is expired. This happened to me actually, and uh, I was actually lucky enough because I had another uh, brand new bottle of developer here so we could do a nice comparison. So uh, when it happened to me, I tried to look online to see if somebody had a real quick video on it. I couldn't find one, so that's why I, that's why I decided to make this video today. The film types that I usually like to shoot uh, for black and white are Ilford HP5 and Fomapan 400. Uh, really good films that I like to use. Um, they're both 400 speed films. They both kind of have similar grain structures. Um, they're fairly inexpensive and I've always been really pleased with the results. Um, so Ilfosol 3 by Ilford has always been uh, my go-to developer. Um, recently though, and what, by what I mean recently is really recently, I developed three different rolls of film over a course of about, uh, spread out about two and a half, maybe three weeks. So not a very big time difference between all three of them. And you can actually see the degradation in its ability to develop the film, okay? So I should have seen the warning signs uh, earlier, but I kind of ignored them. And I'm gonna show you those here today. I brought my other camera here today. We'll get a little closer look. Come take a look. So right here, we have an old bottle of, Il of Ilfosol 3. That one's a hard, tough one to say sometimes and a new bottle of Ilfosol 3. So this is what it's supposed to look like. And luckily I was able to, I was able to have it, like I said, another bottle on hand, um, just, so, just so we could do this comparison. So cracking it open for the first time, and this is what it's supposed to look like when it is brand new, okay? It's like really clear in color, see? And that's the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be either clear or a light yellow. Wow, that's gonna be. I'm gonna open that up just a little bit more. There we go. There we go, that's what it's supposed to look like. It looks like water, okay? Go ahead and close that up. And this is what old developer looks like. It's okay if it starts yellowing a little bit, but look at that. That is just, I mean, it's not even the same fluid basically it looks like. So what I learned is that as developer starts to age, it oxidizes just like rust. And that's why we get this nice, I don't really know what to describe that color like. I mean, if it were coffee, I would say that's a really nice coffee color, but developer is, is supposed to look more like, like water or vodka, whichever, whichever is your flavor of preference. So what happens if you use this rancid stuff? and you try and develop your film with it. Well, I'm gonna show you exactly that. <clears throat> like I said, these three rolls of film were developed within about three weeks of each other. And it was quite surprising to see how quickly it declined, okay? So right here we have um, some Ilford HP5 that I shot at a wedding um, about three weeks ago. As you can see, really nice, uh, really nice exposure here and uh, we got a good, uh, good even balance of blacks to whites. So that's how you generally kind of know uh, that your exposures are good and that they're gonna convert well and that, that, that is, everything is wonderful. Okay, so about a week later, I developed this roll of film. I went to an event where my friend was a, uh, my friend's a rap artist and so he was doing a show. And so I went through with my uh, L35AF, I shot this with an L35AF. Forgot to mention the same camera that I shot with the last one. And this is how it came out, okay? As you can see, it's a little lighter. It's not as defined. It looks as if it was just a little bit underexposed, okay? Um, still haven't scanned these yet. I was, I was wondering if it was an underdeveloped situation. And uh, there are some good pictures in here, but again, not as crisp and clean or as well-defined as these ones, okay? So three weeks ago, two weeks ago, and then we finally come on to a shoot that I just did. I did a shoot uh, with a friend the other day, uh, a test shoot. So thankfully, I, we kind of, I was kind of oh, not really hoping that things would go wrong, but I knew that I wasn't gonna be super upset if things went wrong. And 
surprisingly, things went wrong. Uh, the shoot went great. Uh, the digitals came out okay, but uh, we were there to shoot some film, uh, some some uh, just uh, some experimental stuff that I was uh, some test shots that I was trying to take. And this is what we got: Roll a 120, Foma Pan 400. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it right there. If you can see in that camera, and now we're gonna show it here. There is damn near nothing here. Foma Pan 400 with pretty much no images on it whatsoever. Look at this. Nothing. It's amazing. So, I mean, all three of them right there for you. Here's one. There's another one right there. And another one right there. So, I mean, all three, three weeks ago, two weeks ago, or less than two weeks ago, and then just the other day, so. And all from that old bottle of, uh, that old bottle of Ilfasol, so. Again, if you're using Ilfasol as your primary developer for developing black and white film, look at the color, just look at it. And you'll be able to tell whether that developer is good enough to develop your film or not. Again, a little bit of yellowing is perfectly fine, but as soon as it starts turning uh, any sort of darker shades, it's done, you shouldn't develop. And uh, especially if it's uh, on film that you would consider, or somebody else would consider very important. <clears throat> One more word about uh, Ilfasol. Apparently, um, I, read, I did some reading online and apparently this stuff has a, a shelf life of around six months, whereas people will say you should replace them after about every six months. I opened that old bottle in about February of last year, and it finally went dead here at the very beginning of November, possibly the very end of October. So eight months, I would say, that I got out of that bottle, which is pretty good. And, uh, and the only real indicator that, that it had gone bad was, was, again, the color that I should have taken notice of. And I kind of ignored it. I said, oh, okay, it's going to be okay. Uh, but between six and nine months, I would say. So now that, we've, now that I've uh, opened up this bottle, I'm actually going to write today's date on it. And then once I get to about the six month mark, I'm really going to start keeping an eye on it so that way it doesn't ruin any more of my film. That's all I've got for this video. I hope this information was most helpful to you. And hopefully you can avoid uh, ruining a roll of film just like I did. Always be creating, and we'll see you next time. Bye.